In less than a week since Satyam Chairman Ramalinga Raju confessed to having cooked the company's book for the last 10 years, exposing one of India's biggest corporate scam, the government today swung into action, appointing a three-member board to steer the company out of crisis. So what is the government attempting to do and what is likely, what is the future likely for the company? To discuss these issues, we have with us in our studios our correspondent Sangeeta Singh and our national corporate editor Josie John. Sangeeta, first of all, a three-member board. What is this board? How have the people been chosen and what is the government attempting to do over here? See, these three people who have been selected are uh, eminent uh, in the field of banking, law and uh, IT. Uh, Deepak Parikh from the banking sector, Kiran Karnik from the IT sector, and see a chutan uh, from uh, uh, law and these three people will uh, form an in, uh, immediate uh, board they will select other board members uh, in uh, you know subsequently and they'll have their first meeting to within 24 hours most likely it's going to be tomorrow morning how have these people been chosen uh, they have been chosen by the government by a top level uh, uh, panel probably headed by the prime minister and they have been uh, chosen taking into account you know the exposure of satyam because it's an it company and because banking issues are involved so because of that and legal issues are also involved so chutan is there so perhaps you know you have the it issues you have the banking the legal issues uh, john first of all how significant is this move uh, it clearly states uh, the importance that the government is attaching with getting this company out of the mess it is in there are a whole lot of issues involved there's a possibility of a good company going down the tube. There is a most serious corporate governance issue that could be potentially leveled against India. So the government is wasting no time and I'm fairly impressed with the speed at which they have moved it and the quality of board that they have set up. Okay. Sangeeta, what do you read between the lines? You know, within three, four days, the government has appointed a board to dissolve the board that Satyam set up. What is your sense? See, there was a lot to Satyam. One, it has an international exposure. It is listed on New York Stock Exchange. Then it has over 3 lakh investors who have invested in the stocks of Satyam. Then uh, Satyam as an IT company has been doing very well. So government's immediate uh, action uh, will restore uh, investors' confidence as well as that of the employees and also international investors. So I feel, you know, uh, uh, this is kind of giving a sovereign guarantee uh, and uh, issues of liquidation and possible buyouts and where various things are, that are being speculated about may, you know, this may actually tone down. Uh, the speculations. Yeah, in fact, talking about buyouts, a lot of companies are actually not going in for that because nobody knows what is the assets and what are the liabilities of the company. But Josie, uh, you know, what is what you know? You have now this three-member board. What is this board likely to do in the coming few days? Uh, they already said that within 24 hours, they are likely to appoint a new CEO. That will be the first signal that the board will be sending out saying that they mean business. And I wouldn't be surprised if they've already zeroed in on a candidate to kind of make that transition. So that will be the immediate uh, thing on their agenda. But going forward, they need to kind of get a larger board in place for which they need to kind of attract more credible names. One of the biggest dangers before the board today that the board needs to kind of look out for is not to staff the board with government nominees and ex-bureaucrats who might, whose intentions might be good but they will have li very little expertise in running a hardcore uh, technology business. Okay and what about the, the previous board that that uh, you know that the company itself had formed now that was dismissed by the government what happens to them what happens to the overall company uh, you, you know the, the sentiment because you know you have here and you have the employees who are working with with the company members now they have a new board which is being from which is being set up by the government how do you see that shape up um, it's difficult to answer that question but if i were to crystal ball gaze at this point in time i would say that the board wouldn't go in for a huge overall of the top management because the top 10 guys in the company are the guys who have actually steered that company for the last few years there have been allegations of wrongdoings against a few of them but i think that change will be there but it'll be gradual right now the board will just set in restore business confidence as in from the customers and more importantly employee confidence in the short term there will be some kind of you know um, blips on the horizon but uh, in the long term i think there's a 
the the thing to do for the company okay sangeeta very quickly do you think uh, that perhaps uh, would there be a, so sort of a government officials and bureaucrats uh, dominating the board or what is your sense well i don't think so there might be nominees of the government like there will be um, there can be members of chartered accountants of india uh, institute of chartered accountants of india or there can be some company secretaries or there can be some more uh, lawyers but i don't see there may be one or two bureaucrats but i don't see too many of them coming to the board all right one last question uh, josie uh, now that the board government has set up the board overall how do you see it uh, you know this move for the company's business and, and as well for the overall uh, it industry considering now this is a, a sort of a setback uh, not just for the company but for the entire country uh, the quarter gone by and the current quarter that's the quarter ending uh, march both these quarters are likely to be complete washouts for uh, satyam uh, they will also perhaps see some amount of business uh, churn as in customers moving to other it companies so in the short term in the maybe in the next one year or six quarters you'll see weakness at the company but the company has proven some technical uh, strengths that have carried it to be the fourth largest it vendor in the country lots of that will be restored so couple of years down the line we will look back at this as something that happened to satyam satyam also the, the possibility that satyam could get sold is also very very true today very very likely today but in a couple of years the sum of parts even if it's sold to different people or as a stand alone company the business will be back and the clients are they still uh, betting on the india story and are they still what 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 is their take on that officially we are being told that yeah we are okay we are sticking with this company but i wouldn't be surprised if some of them are reaching to other india based outsourcing companies to explore whether some of this business can be transferred out there be clear that a business with about 200 associates at satyam cannot be transferred overnight there will be a transition that will happen so that will likely keep the uh, the the customer stuck with satyam for good or bad for some more time overall so overall we see that this is a positive step that will help uh, uh, steer the things forward for the company as a whole thank you sangeeta and thank you josie well that's thank it you. from all of us thanks for watching goodbye